Just look to you on today, God, from whence cometh all our help. All our help come from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Lord, we lean not our own understanding, but we trust you. And we acknowledge you in all our ways so that you might direct our path. Heal. Heal all the families. Heal a wife. Heal the children. Heal mother, father, siblings. Heal our church family. You got the immediate family. God, you got the biological family. You got the wife family. You got the church family. So God, then you got the friend family. God, heal all our families. Only you can pour all into us in this situation and heal our children. Heal our children so they won't think that you're not a protector. Heal our children so they don't think that you're not truthful. Heal our children so they won't start blaming you foolishly. Heal our children that serving the Lord do pay off. And Lord, I thank you for this word from Tuesday to come back again today to touch your people, mind and heart. And the words that I'm giving them, it was because you gave them to me first. We are all partakers of this word. Let us hear it, receive it, apply it. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go to Psalm 62, and I want to read into your hearing the 7th and the 8th verses, and I am reading out of the New King James Version, just a few little words may be different. Hallelujah, glory to God. Psalm 62, 7 and 8. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. You may take your seat. Even with the two main scriptures, I still want to go up to the first and the second verse. But I want to, I'm going to come back for seven and eight, but I wanted to read the first two scriptures also into your hearing hallelujah hallelujah glory to God truly my soul silently waits for God from him comes my salvation he only is my rock and my salvation According to what my help is that I need. See, in this you can't put near sparring on. You can't go get a shot for. You can't get no antibiotic for this kind of pain. Say, you say, say, say. There is no therapist that can give you the answer. To bring about certain healings and deliverances and help. So here the psalmist say, he only is my rock and my salvation. He, he is my high place and my stability. He alone is my deliverer. See? He is my defense. And in my Bible here it says, I shall not be greatly moved. And as I looked that up and did the Bible study for Tuesday, I don't know if I expressed it. But what the psalmist is saying here, I will not be shaken in my faith. In the one that's my only strength. 
I will not be moved. I will not be shaken. Even though the wind is blowing hard, I won't be moved off of the foundation of what I believe. Because God is my rock. And even when our hearts feel heavy and, and, we, and it's misunderstood and we don't understand it, God knows we don't understand it. When, why, how? But I love the way Brother Pew prayed the prayer that we don't blame God foolishly. That we don't speak too quick because that's what Job's wife wanted him to do. He said, I can't charge God foolishly. Mm -mm. Why? Because there is evil also present. And God's ways is not my ways or your ways. And we're definitely not saying this was God. Or if God come for your loved one. Or Sister Tia, them aunt that just thought she had a virus was having a massive heart attack. Come on now. We don't know. That's why. That's why. Moses just told us, Lord, because, see, we don't know our end. So give us some wisdom so we can apply our heart to number our days. In other words, Lord, we can't number how long we're going to be here, but the time, which is today. That's all we got is today. That's why his words say today if you hear my voice. He didn't say tomorrow. You hear my voice today. Don't harden your heart. You say, 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 say. So we have to do this self-examination. God, what am I doing with my time? Am I really in you? Are you really my rock? Are you really my salvation? So I won't be shaken when the wind of life comes. Because whether we want to talk about it, all the people who talk about money all day long in every service. Everything is a seed, a seed, a seed, a seed. And you plant a seed for this. And you plant a seed for that. And you plant a seed for that. And got the people so programmed on a seed, a seed. That some things God already gave the seed, the incorruptible seed, which is the word of God. Some things you can't plant no money for. Money for this and money. Before you know anything, you be thinking you done bought your salvation. You'll think you be done bought mercy. Get in the line and give a seed. We want you to give, but not manipulatively. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because there come a time in life where ain't nothing we know but God going to help us. The Lord is my light and my salvation. He my help. See, that salvation, not only is he my savior, he my present help in the time, not only of need, but when I'm in trouble. He my present help when the storm of life start blowing. And God, I don't know what's going on. And that just doesn't come even with death. That comes with divorce. That comes with all loss of a job. That comes with, see, when, when the wind start blowing, say, you know, God, I shall not be moved. See, that's the blessed person according to Psalm 1. Why? Because I'm rooted and planted. By the, I'm a tree planted by the living water. I come here to get nourished so my roots can get strong. So when life starts blowing at me, I shall not be moved. I will not be shaken. Many times people say, well, how did you preach over that? I, one thing I'm not, I don't try to hide if I'm hurting. I don't, I don't, see, because if you keep pretending, you ain't going to know when to be real. See, no, yeah, I can't show you all what I feel because it always, somebody in the midst think they can fix me. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. They're going to help me so they can get glory. 
It's always. It's always somebody think that they don't want you to allow yourself to be real. But see, what we have to realize now, even though we feel this, we can't crumble because we're standing on the rock. Which is higher than us. See, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Who shall I be afraid of? See, mm-hmm. even when the enemy come to try to eat up my flesh through sicknesses, who gonna be my defense? Who gonna cover me? Who gonna help me? The Lord. He the only true rock. Can I, can I tell you, we come out of God. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord have mercy. We come out the mind of God, the thoughts of God, the will of God. We're going back, glory to God, to the one who gave us life. Hallelujah. When we receive his plan. We, we don't understand it. We don't fully understand how we even got here. We don't even fully understand how, how we can stay on the earth with a round ball. I'm going to tell you something here now. Anybody ever seen gravity? It's round. Ain't nobody fall off. I'm going to tell you something here. He the only rock. He my help. He my salvation. He my deliverer. He my carry me through. He my carry me up. He my lifter of my head. He my all in all. Glory to God. I, I should not be moved. Should not be moved. Why? Because you got the delight in, in the Lord. You got the delight in his word. That's the only thing. I believe the prophet I believe the um, prophet asked, or the king, uh, uh, either somebody asked, asked uh, the prophet, is there a word from the Lord? One word from the Lord can strengthen you. One word from the Lord will say, I-, I got you. I'm holding you. I'm shielding you. Don't fear. One word from the Lord. Say, I'm going to keep you. One word from the Lord. One promise from the Lord. Ain't that something? The one who made us give us a life. Because he said, my word, the spirit in his life. I'm going to give you a word that you can hold on to because the job is not strong enough to keep you. Money is not strong enough to hold you. A marriage is not put together to help you be delivered. I'm going to stop with y'all. The word say, don't put your um, hope and your trust in the arm of flesh. What my job is, my job is not to make you. I'm a deliverer. I'm a male person. Edify, get you ready, build you up, bring you an apostolic word of deliverance and warnings. And God have given our church many warnings to cause us to escape many things. Many things that God will send from the, from the pulpit and just send out the word and it drop on the hearer. And then the hero who decide do not, do not want to be a hero all the time end up being a doer. And that's when it's beneficial. Because you can hear all day and don't do. Can't you see the wind blowing in the world? Somebody say they don't even believe in Jesus. They don't believe Jesus coming back. Well, his word is being fulfilled every day. Day, that that the evil was going to get worse, that people was going to get worse, and they will be lovers of themselves. Y'all come on here. It's almost like all of this evil and the bloodshed and all have desensitized people. (laughs) 
you got to stay on alert. You got to, you can't go to the grocery store, a woman, and, and see, see a van and a big truck. You got to pop, you, you can't just be walking around like you ain't got no good sense. You got to be thinking. You got to be thinking if somebody give you something, say smellless perfume. You got to be thinking. You got to have discernment in the time that we leave living in. And Jesus already forewarned us of the many false prophets that was coming in my name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, he the only, he the only person and the only things, things that's connected to him that's stable. I, I will not be moved. Why, why I'm not going to be moved? Because him who called me, him who, where I came out of. Somebody said you came from sperm and egg. Well, where sperm and egg came from? Somebody don't give me your, t- your scientific view. Everything come out of God. And, and I'm going to tell you what the enemy do. He allow people, people who say they save, to see people just, amen, get cut down or get, see, see stuff come and still play. The blinding spirit said, we're going to play just a little bit more. We're going to play a little bit more because, see, the blinded spirit say it will never happen to you. But see, what Moses, that was a prayer. Lord, teach us. Give us some knowledge on how to number our days. Teach us how to, to, to maximize the, the time that you, what did I do on Sunday without watching my clock to see when she going to shut up? You mean to tell me somebody that can give you 24 hours a day for seven days and you mean to tell me out of two days we can't give him a good two or three hours in a service? Something is wrong. The, the person air we breathe. Something is wrong. The person who eyes are in every place think if you ride down the road to go somewhere that God can't see you. Oh, let me stop with it. Let me stop with it. Let me stop with it. I said, let me stop with it. Because some people you can play, but you can't play God. Why? Because he with you, with us, wherever you go. If you sit down, he with you. If you rise up, how? Because you're the one that makes you live and move and have your being. You can't even get up without God. And all the wealth that you got, he said it was me that caused you to have health to get wealth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he's saying here, um, I shall not be greatly shaken. Now, my, I'm, uh, the wind might blow me a little bit now, but I won't be uprooted. I won't be greatly moved. See, you ever seen the roots in the, from the tree? For Matthew, y'all seen when all them big old trees come up? And them, come on here. Say, oh, man, the roots is keeping that tree down in there. Glory to God. From the root maker. You know, sometimes I'm amazed at God. I'm just amazed at God. A wooden tree got an apple. Great God in the morning. A wooden tree got a fruit called peach. Wood, did you hear what I say? Wood, girl. That grew out dirt. Got something we can eat. Excuse me for my grandma. Pecan. Y'all ever check the pecan? The, the, the whole, you know, the outside. And that's a little wood. 
A little bit of wood. And that's what I'm sitting down examining. She's in the corner. So I need to stay in with the person who made everything, who know everything, who causing me to move and live and have my being. He said, I won't be greatly moved. I, I won't be greatly moved. Why? Because I got to be silent before God. I got to wait on God. If God don't change something, if God don't do this right here to heal everybody's heart, we can't do it. When mother die, father die, sibling die, a husband die, a wife die, or whatever, it's some things you have no control over. You have no control over. That which you have control over called choice. That's why we got the number of days. Now, if I get into that, what's that's going to, what's going to trickle from there? So I need to examine my time. See? Now, what's going to happen if I make that choice? See, some things people call, oh, God, let it happen. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's called choice. God don't cause nobody to go get no gun and, and kill nobody. I, I can't stand when preachers, did you say preachers? Yes. When preachers get up there and say, um, this was the will of God. Uh-uh. 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 That was not the will of God. That was not the will of God. Well, why didn't God? You, you don't understand what God has done, choose ye this day who you will serve. That you must recognize that the devil don't have no little pointed ears with no tail and no pitchfork and no red suit. That's why we have to find our refuge in God. That's why we got to be protected by God. That's why we got to stick together in God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not saying evil things don't happen to good people, but it wasn't the will of God. I can't stand when they do that. That was God's will. It was God's will that a child was raped and killed. That, that was God will? Uh-uh, uh-uh. I beg to differ now. Well, who is Satan? Who, 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 who is Satan? That's why in the, in, 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 the, in the body, God is steady telling us how to get stuff out of us. So anger would not take you to murder. We done seen it before. Come on now. When I've seen it before, and then sorrow come, godly sorrow come, but when that thing possesses you, when that anger possesses you, well, let me say it again, when the spirit of anger possesses you, cause you to do things you didn't intend it, I don't know what happened to me. I don't know. What happened to me? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That is my beloved mother. My mother had um, teach us a number of days wisdom way back before we knew God like that now. But she always feared God. But these are words that she would say. Don't let the devil make a fool out of you. And then I end up teaching my children that. And now they're telling their children, don't let the devil make a fool out of you. And we be wondering, what is she talking about? She old. We were children, so she wasn't old, Sister Dana. Don't let the devil make a fool out of you. And then later on, she had another part of that. Because the devil will get you in it, and then the devil will get you caught. And then he done made a fool at you. And guess what the devil do? Leave you in jail. 
And then he going to the next angry person. Then he going to the next person who can't let things go. He go to the next person who, who, who won't get rid of all that hate and all that bitterness. And before you know anything, you won't speak to nobody and you won't greet nobody and you won't forgive nobody. He's looking for the next person he can use. So don't tell me that was the will of God. I don't say the devil get you in it. Then the devil turned around. Did we not see that on Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Come on now. Devil to get you in it. That made you premeditated it. That made you come on here. That made you say, I ain't speaking. I'm coming in the house of God, but I ain't speaking to them because I really don't like them. And come on now. Come on here. Husband and wife, they'll still be seeing who they can get each other back and all that. Have you lost your mind that you got to teach me how to number my days? That God, that God don't call your name in the midst of that stuff in your heart. Because if you can let it go, the devil won't make a fool at you. He'll say, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take you farther than you meant to go. And I'm going to drop you in a cell and I'm going to shut the door on you because you would not let it go. (laughs) Mm -hmm. People who like to talk about who hurt them over and over and over, they got a choice. Do you want to let it go? Because I feel better telling everybody who hurt me. I feel better. But what that's going to do for you, what that's going to do for you, it's going to cause you to get moved. Then when the enemy bring that, that wind start blowing, you ain't going to have enough stability rooted and grounded in God. God going to keep you like he going to keep me. But what I do, not near one of you have to do it. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. hallelujah. So I have to know that he is my refuge, my strength. Come on here. In the midst of my heart hurting, I can't go right there. Oh, you know, I share a tear, but come on, let me tell you what we're going to do now. Let's pray. Let's come on here. And then I got to come home and lay across my bed and say, help me, God. Help me, God. Help me do what? Not, not preach just a funeral. Oversee. How everything need to be done in this house. And that no spirit come in here and take over nothing in this house. And that anger not drop in this house, Adidra. I mean, I need the warriors with them shield up everything. And I rebuke that demon that think it will cause any confusion in this house. We come in, we come in saying, God, help us. We ain't coming in with all them bitter droppings like a bunch of rat boo-boo. Y'all better talk to me and make them droppings in this holy temple. Come on here, somebody, and put all that anger in the atmosphere. You better pray. You drive up on the property, everything should be dismantled. We done prayed for all 13.3 acres. Ain't nothing going to be. See, the devil look for an avenue to see how he can attach to somebody in here who have hate and don't want to let it go. And say, I'll drop it in the place you come worship. 
And because you don't want to let it go, that spirit. You ever seen spirits? People were saying, like, just watch. If new people come to the church and certain people are texting them, it's because they got the same spirit. See, I'm the overseer, so I know what I'm talking about. They were, oh, I think they have homosexual, lesbians, or whatever tendencies. Watch them. Before you know anything, they be done got closer. All lying spirits, all fornicating spirits, they all come together. All stubborn spirits. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're attached to one another. That's why you got to come even in the house of God with a praise and watch yourself. All of a sudden, y'all want to come to each other's house and blah, blah, blah. Who helping who? Uh Uh-oh, I'm going to leave y'all alone. Who helping who? (laughs) Because me as the overseer, if I don't see change in both, (laughs) somebody following somebody. Now, how I got over there? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. That's why I try to tell new people, don't tell people all your business when you come in. No place. Job, church, no place. Some people ain't got enough stability to keep you safe. So come for God for yourself. Don't get hooked up with somebody. And I'll drink to that. Now you was doing good, Apostle. I don't know why you went over there. <laughs> I was taught that when I first got saved by my male pastor. Everybody running, everybody jumping, everybody speaking tongue, everybody. But says man, and some people still ain't saved. So now you come for Jesus, okay? And I'm looking like everybody ain't saved in here. <laughs> Everybody look like it. Everybody got on white. <laughs> Everybody, what you say? And why he told me that? I was like, <laughs> hey, don't you run and be with everybody. You come for God. You come for God. Are you listening? You come for God. Let me say it again. You come for God. Don't you get hung up. Oh, yeah, your feelings going to get hurt. Run away from them. Come on now. You come for God. Hallelujah. Don't be shaken in your faith. My rock, my salvation, my defense. I wrote down some other words. My high tower. My refuge, my protection. The word of God say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Ooh, 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 Lord. And the righteous run in and there they are saved. You want to know why he say righteous? The one that is in right standing with me got to hide in place. Let me say that again. The Lord, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And see, it's like it's invisible. See? It's like you can't see it with the natural eye. But his name is a strong tower. In other words, I got a hiding place in the name of the Lord. His name is a strong tower. But guess what? What the qualifications is to get in it. The righteous. Right standing with God. The righteous. See, they know where to run in at. And they are what? Safe. They are safe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Y'all seen some of the hero movies where like the shield come up on them and cover them? 
It's a man in there, but then all this shit. Just visualize it now. I need this. I don't know what the name of the movie is. Somebody movie. But you can see it. And all the things. And when all the bullets and everything, they all shield it. Can I, can I work with it? Your individual, please. Ooh. Not just mortar. Not, not just copy it. The name of the Lord in your life. He your strong tower. You can run in there. He said, that's why. See, I got to silently wait in God. Since I'm the church. Since I'm the city. And who in the city? God himself. And he going to shield me. He going to heal me. He going to help me. I'm not going to be moved. I'm not going to be, amen, distorted. I'm not going to be, amen, just, just get drifted away with the tide because it's a great wave. I had questions too about some things in life. I shall not, I shall not be moved. I had some questions too. God, well, God, did I do something wrong that my husband got to be the first person in our whole archives of our church to die? Really, God? Really, God? I said, God, what, did I do something wrong? You know, and then the Lord began to show me. I gave him nine years, and they gave him one. So praise me for him living 10 years. I'm going I'm to stop, stop with you. It's still something good we can get out of it. You so caught up on that part that you ain't seen what I've done. You can't see that I'm developing you. You can't see that I'm changing you. That I'm fortifying you through some of the hurtfulest things in your life. Can, can we tell the truth? If you never had no problems, you wouldn't pray as hard as you do. <laughs> Prayer came out of hard places. Prayer came out of places where I didn't understand. Prayer came out of when your daddy guy uh, uh, died suddenly and hit with that tree. I know like you, Lord Jesus, what happened? Let me stop with you. But what you did? You were not moved. You was hurt, but you knew all your strength was coming from the Lord. So you had to come in this house and lift your hands, even if you didn't feel it in your emotions. I'm talking to you, church. You're going to have, Lord God, I'm in a hard place, but you're going to have to learn how to worship God in a hard place. God, I, God, how I even, what, what I got enrolled for this class? I didn't mean to take this course. I ain't want to take this course. And when is this course over? And can you hurry up and make haste? Make haste. Make haste, God. Hurry up and see about me. Come see about me. See about you. See about, I mean, see about me, God. See about your servant, God. Come see about me. Because you make haste. But because God, the, God got a time, he said, so I want you to just sit in my presence. And I want you to wait patiently for me. Because I'm doing development in you through your heart, please. I hear God saying that to somebody. Because when the next type of wind blows, so oh, I didn't seen that before. So let me just hold on to God. If everything move you, church, you won't make it. If you are in and out Christian, we see you sometimes and sometimes we, you go A, wall, A-I-A. Where they at now? Somewhere. Somewhere out there. 
But where they at now? Don't put them down. They're, they're not coming. E-I-A. Who that song? That's on God. That's on God. It don't matter what God didn't give us. Ain't that right, Brother Grant? It don't matter if God didn't give us a nice house. It don't matter if God didn't give us multiple cars. It don't matter if God changed our whole, t- our whole wardrobe from whence we came. My mama said, I didn't even believe I was going to live to be 40. And she almost said, 87. The devil, devil said, you ain't going to know how to take care of these children and you're by yourself and, and you ain't going to make it. And come on here, working for the white people with no social security. Let me talk to y'all right. But what she knew about God, I won't go to bed without saying a prayer to God. What you say, mom? My mama said something had to give. Because when you pray, something got to give. I like that. In other words, something got to give up. Glory to God and loose you if you pray. Something got to let you go if you pray. Come on here. I can hear my mama many times, Minister Crystal. We in the project. She's singing over the food. Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. See, I ain't no God was going to save me and all. I was collecting all these songs. Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh Lord God. Mm, 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 mm. You brought me over. You brought me through. It was nobody but you. Nobody but you. I can remember. Heard this. And then turn around and say, hey, one thing on last always. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tell yourself, your one thing ain't going to last always. Because see, there are seasons in our life. One thing ain't going to last. Your pain, your rejection, your hurt, you got to practice on letting it go, you see. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't going to last always. It lasts always because you're holding it. Yes. It lasts past the season. I hear the Holy Ghost. It can last past the season because you don't know your season done change. You in your spring season. I am. It look fallish to me. Because you refuse for the season to be recognized that it changed. Come on now. Well, that was two years ago with your dad. Doing a year and a half during Christmas. So see, he have to get his mind fortified because December coming. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You know what I don't like? I don't like Facebook grieving. Oh, I just, I don't like it. It is so insensitive. And your grieving process should be more. I'm not saying you can't never put anything, my mother. But some people feed off of it. They feed off of it. You know why? Because they need people to tell them, well, oh God, if you, if, if, you, if you know what God's saying, why would you need these people to tell you that all the time? So for myself, come on here, September coming. September the 13th coming. But you won't see me and my family on Facebook because the Lord is my refuge. In other words, I got to silently wait in him. I got to silently wait. Sister Sherry, y'all just buried your mother uh, uh, just the other day. Look at here. You got to silently wait for whatever the date that God called her home. I'm going to tell you. You have to get your mind prepared. Other than that, you will go into depression. (laughs) 
It's real, real. It's real, real, church. It's real, real. How you going to make it through? He only is my rock and my salvation. He only is. He is my defense. Mm-hmm. Look, look at five and six. My soul. We're not talking about your spirit. Right there, we're talking about your mind. <laughs> Let me get a glass of water. Your spirit got you. If you got the Holy Ghost. It's the mind. The torment comes through the mind. My soul waits silently for God alone, for God alone. I'm not looking for nobody else to fix me in this situation. Only God alone can fix me. For my expectation is from him. Whatever I need, whatever I want God to do on, it got to come from him. Mm Mm-hmm. He only... Look at the psalmist say, he only. In other words, I'm going to put only in there so I won't look for another source to help me out. I won't look for the bottle to help me out. I won't look for another lover to help me out. I won't look, come on here, come on here. I won't look for another place to go to help me out. I don't need another party because I left the party life. Come on here. If the party life couldn't fix me then and me going back ain't going to fix me now. I got to wait, though, till my change come. I got to wait patiently. I got to spend time with God. God, come on here. Just sometimes just breathing in God. Every time you inhale, exhale, say, God, I'm just breathing you in to come in and, and just renew me and give me that second wind like Brother Grant said. God, I need you to refresh me. I need you to give me this wind to go through another funeral. God going to keep you. Yeah, he going to keep you too. He that calleth me got me. Hallelujah. It's just that sometimes you never heard of a pastor expressing themselves. That's why people end up being phony too. Oh, you know, you're not supposed to cry. Don't bother me. Don't you bother me. Don't you bother me. Because you know. <laughs> Don't bother me. Because I'm going to cry and I'm going to preach. Hallelujah. Don't, don't think that you can fix me. Fix, get yourself fixed. Hallelujah. But I want to show people how. So some, somebody got to, uh, t- let's talk about it. You got to cry sometime around the children because if you don't, if you don't, they're going to think we got some super official. We, we just a bunch of phonies. All you got, you ever meet Christians, they, they, all they do is just walk around and, 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 and talk the word and they look like they done aged 10 years over that situation. Oh, yes, the Lord, I'm blessed coming in and I'm blessed. Sit down somewhere and cry. Go cry somewhere and get all that stuff out too. And ask God to help you to forgive all them people. And you can still say the word. Am I teaching right, y'all? Am I teaching truth? Just being so phony and acting so spiritual. I'm going to show you I'm spiritual because I'm going to walk it out. I ain't going to just be talking about it. I'm going to be about it. Like Sister Donna said, well, let's don't talk about it. Let's be about it. You hurting? You mean to tell me you can't even cry? Because you got to please somebody else who's looking at you. I'm like, well, God, pick us up. And then you got to bring his word to remind yourself, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I said, okay, greater, here we go. 
I said, okay, unction to function. Here we go. (laughs) I'm only going to function because of the unction of the Holy Ghost. I'm strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, hallelujah. Yeah, you still yet my shepherd, I shall not want. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. Mm-hmm, hmm hmm Anybody in here, I hear the Holy Ghost say, if you got traumatic dates that's coming up, get your mind transformed now. Other than that, every year. Oh, the people just, they need that pity from media instead of going to their family and their church. They need it. Do you hear me? They need to be recognized. Do you know that's another type of sickness? They need the media. People who don't know you or your loved one. What's wrong? Take all that stuff down. I don't care if you get mad. Take it down. Take it down. Because you know what? It don't even be about the other person. It be all about you. Take it down. I told everybody on Tuesday, didn't I? Don't let our church have nothing up concerning this situation in it. Because then the people start saying, well, what's wrong? And then you'll be like, because I'm hurting. Who you? Who you? When there's a mama out there, when there's a daddy out there, that there's a wife out there, that there's a children out there, who is you? Find me some more shoes, dog baby. Media, media. Media grieving. If you don't know how to hide up in God in your most painful time, do I have some gold ones in there? Give me those. You, 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 you with me? If you don't know how to do that in a secret place, oh yeah, I'm Clark Kent. Yeah, I'm Clark Kent today. Yeah, I'm clock can't. Yeah, I had to go in the phone booth. <laughs> I had to go in the phone booth on y'all. Yeah, I had to go in the phone booth. <laughs> what, what's going on? What I saw her crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. But don't forget now, Superman in there. Superman in there. I just need to go. Just get away. I can't robot shy. I thank you, sweetie. I just need to get away quietly. Hallelujah. To get with the one that caused me to trans. Form. You better not let me get to my phone booth. <laughs> don't you let me get to my phone booth. Don't let you don't let don't let me get away from y'all and hallelujah. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm gonna help me and then I'll turn around and rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pick the truck off you. Whew. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me stop the train for you. But it's the Holy Ghost now. I got a feeling they about to come out from out the bag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, the, the rock of my strength. I love the way the song, every time I've kept reading it, he only is my rock and my glory on that one. He only, he only. Somebody said, Mr. Simona, how you came through years ago? He only. How you, how you a single woman by a house? He only. What a job when, you, when the bus drivers wasn't getting no summer checks then. You ever know anybody do that? He only. He only is my rock and my glory. I said, I can't do it because I ain't got no help. You ain't recognize the help. You ain't recognize the help. Because once you recognize the help, you're going to come through. 
Once you recognize the help, he going to get you delivered. Once you recognize the help, he can help you to forgive. Once you recognize the help, he going to help you let it go. Once you recognize the help, you can get that deliverance. Once you recognize the help, you going to come on through. But if you don't recognize the help, you're going to stay stuck. Hmm. See, Cheryl, you know, I've, I've been teaching this, isn't it? What you do after death, you come on back to church, isn't it? Hallelujah. Most of the time I'll tell people during that time, they'll stay home with their family. So when they walk into the church, then they'll have all their strength because even the church had to come through a process. But once y'all, what, 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 after David's son, God didn't raise him up. So he got up and washed himself, in it? Then he got up and washed himself. I'm going to fast and cry out to God, but once it's over, he got up and washed himself. Why? And going through the process of allowing the grief to take its process. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. Your season doesn't change, but you didn't know it changed. And if you still want to stay in your winter, ain't nobody can tell you it's spring. It's spring now. It's spring. God, I'm coming through this. Hallelujah. In my closing, let me go back to seven and eight. And God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength. Mm-hmm. And my refuge is in God. By the way, Brother Avery, if you was waiting on the topic, I forgot to tell you. In God is my safe place. That's my alarm security system, everything in God is my safe place. Trust in him at all times. When? At all times. Through every problem, every situation, pain, hurt, death, trust in him. Put your confidence in him. Rely on him. Depend on him. Look to him. Hallelujah. And then the last thing is say, pour out your heart before him. What that mean? Even if you got to fall on your face and say, God, only you can help me through the cry out to God. Don't be phony. Don't try to impress people and be deep. I'm hurting, but God got me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And don't sing the blues. Somebody done me wrong. When they did it. When I was 10. (laughs) Somebody done me wrong. When I was 10. Well, we're going to show you how to come through it. Not that it's not real. But how to come through it in my clothes and pour out your heart before God, before him. God is a refuge for us. Point, point. Prayer can release the tension in times of emotional hurts, pain, and stress. Trust in God to be our rock, our salvation, our fortress, our refuge will change our entire inlook and outward look on life. When we are resting in God, strength, nothing shall shake us. Stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Glory to God.